is going to be Martin from Black Lives Matter. Come on up, Martin. Hey, y'all, what's up? Uh, I'm grateful to be here. I'm Martin Henson from Black Lives Matter Boston. Pronouns he, him, his. Uh, every time I come out here, I see new people. So shout out to the new people. Y'all give yourselves a round of applause. Because I don't know if y'all been to a lot of these, but it's, a, it's a, the usual suspects on the other side and the usual suspects on this side in terms of who's going to fight against them. So when I see folks that I ain't seen before, it makes me feel like we're going to win. Y'all think we're going to win? Yeah. I do too. Matter of fact, I know that. So when we think about the far right and all the things that they bring, I think sometimes we need to think about things that are closer to home. I'm a part of the Deeper Than Water Coalition that's dealing with the issue of water in the Norfolk prison. The water's not safe. And when people talk about it on the inside, they get retaliated against. These are not swastika, uh, card-carrying white supremacists that are doing this. These are prison guards. This is the Department of Corrections. These are the people that we know and accept as uh, folks in our society who regulate folks who have violated the law. Why is it that when white supremacists come, we come out with our fists up? But when people behind the walls are suffering, we don't say nothing. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Do y'all feel me or not? Yeah. This is the real stuff that we need to deal with. When we're talking about Boston not giving resources to the homeless people and not giving adequate treatment to people who have addiction problems, those are the problems that I wonder where my people gonna show up. Are y'all gonna show up? Because yeah. the far right ain't so far right for everybody. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. There's some of us that's sitting under the boot. And for us that are here, we have a privilege to be able to fight against these folks. Sometimes the far right looks like the people next door. Sometimes the far right looks like the folks across the street. Sometimes the far right looks like the people when you go to the hospital who want to treat you and give you fair service. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. The far right ain't so far right for everybody. So when we go out and fight the Nazis and yell and chant them down and search them out and see where they work and do all the things that we need to do to keep them from coming out, think about the far right that's close to you, that's near to you, the friend that makes comments that are inappropriate, the folks who are, are homophobic, the folks who are transphobic, the folks who are xenophobic, and we tolerate it like we're waiting for a politician to come save us. I'm not waiting for nobody to come save me. We gonna save us. You understand what I'm saying? So when they come around there, we got the far right over there, and we got the far right next door. We got the far right right here. We got the far right across the street. I'm fighting against all of them. You feel me? Do y'all feel me? Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Martin.